everyone, welcome back to our channel. First time I've been able to sit down and have a build of Victory for over a week. I've recently been down to Portsmouth and had a lovely trip around Victory and obviously all the historic dot yard, really enjoyed that. The trouble is obviously I have to walk around Victory again, first time I've seen it in 15 years, as it's um, brought up a lot more questions and answers. And obviously it's also brought up a lot of inaccuracies in what I've built already. So obviously, so in this video, I'll, I'll go into it. How I'm going to change the four mass finder top from the main mass finder top. Okay, let's get building. Okay, it's uh, time to start working on the four mast. You know, obviously, in this issue, obviously the first part of the build is obviously you get the fighting top. But obviously, as, as I've been getting into more into the build. And obviously recently since I purchased, purchased this book I started to find a lot of inaccuracies from the, from the plans that you get with the build. Obviously this is how I built the fighting top for the main mast. And as obviously in the instructions it shows you to build it all flush. But obviously since I've been doing some more research and obviously looking at the new fighting tops you can clearly see from the book it wasn't constructed like that. There is a, a slight overhang for the uh, the die plates. So obviously this time I'm going to build it a little bit more accurate to the ship plans rather than the instructions. So that's obviously that's why I, I wasn't going to do another uh, main mass video or the or the fighting top video. But obviously because I think there's enough variation and enough change, I've decided to make a new one. So to make this fighting top in the instructions is pretty much you're gluing these, you can obviously get a base plate, and then another, another second plate and then a third plate which builds up the three frames. But obviously I want to recreate obviously where this is recessed back for the dead eye plates. So what I'm gonna do is I take out the middle plank first. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna peg this into position. I'm just going to draw myself an outline that I can then just taper back this base plate. So that's all ready to cut out. That's going to leave me enough that this second plate will stick on, but enough that it's cut back for the dead eye plates. Too nice, just round it off, sand it around it smooth. 
Okay, so I've just finished trimming that to size. I'll just get a quick sand. And I've seen I've just marked using the plan for all the timbers. I'm going to build the main mast one, the fine top of the main mast. We didn't already have the plan, so I'll see how to do it by eye. But this time I've got the plans first, so I can. I'll just mark the positions. And so now I can build the two parts together. Solid out some clamps while dry. Now that the second layer is dry, I'm just going to add the top rim. So the timbers will sit on. This pre-cut part that came with the kit. Water so you can manipulate it to the right position. I'll just leave that to dry in a few minutes. So I'm just slowly adding all the carved timbers, my wedges. I'm not showing you this process in this video, but if you'd like to see how I did that, I'll leave a link in the description and you can watch it from the last fighter top. You can watch how I carved them. Okay, so I fitted all the timbers. Go quick sand and just a lot happier with the impression on this one. It's got a lot nicer obviously because it's a dead eye slot's so gonna pop through there. Yeah, I just think it's gonna look a lot better. All right, so we'll start drilling the holes for the dead eyes, drilling the holes for the rig in, and I'll just start working on the baluster rail. The trussels are oversized now, so I'll just Cut them back to fit the new base, and I'm just rounding around using my little nail file. Just makes a better impression. Let's glue them in place. Next star on there. Hang around. Just added some small pieces of styrene just so I can add a little bit of raised detail to the handrail. Now I'm just drilling a 0.3 drill. Do that on every one. And I can add the add the copper to make up the handrail. So I'm just drilled all the holes with a one mil drill, added the brass. And now I'm just going to get a part of the use of the handrail. I'm just going to transfer some of these marks across. 
just so I can use some of this handrail and add a little bit more detail to this. So I'll just face the handrail. What I've done is like made like little cradles. So it just looks like it's it's gonna appear looks like it's sat in a cradle. All I'm doing now is just drill the five holes and then just attach it to the rest of the fighting top. So I've glued in the handrail. You'll see it's got the impression now that it's like been sat in a cradle. I think it looks a little bit more true to life. So I'm quite happy with that. Let me know what you think. Yeah, let me know if it looks half good. I just found it off a one reference picture. Actually I was watching a video where they was lifting the uh, fighting tops off the victory when they took on the mass and obviously all the uh, top cannons off and all the stuff like that and I actually saw as they brought the uh, fighting top down and I see the handrail were all this like in cradle so I thought I'll try and reproduce it okay I'm going to paint it now I'm not going to show you a video with painting because obviously you've seen it in previous videos and once it's painted I'll come back I've just finished painting the four mast fighting top so I've done in a previous video. All I do is I want to try and highlight some of this raised detail I've just put in for the handrail. I just want to just want to make it stand out a little bit. So I'm just gonna just mix myself a little bit of grey up. I'm just gonna brush most of it off. And I'm just gonna slightly touch get this a little bit my fingers to dry now. I'm just gonna slightly touch it. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera. But obviously it does highlight see the deep makes the deal stand out a little bit. Obviously if you look on the back, well I've not done it then obviously take it back to I've just highlighted it. You can clearly see it better that way. I'm just going to go over the whole thing. Just highlight some of the detail. Makes it look a little bit more weathered as well. Which is an effect I prefer. So you know, if you're not happy with it, after you've tried it, just paint it back again. I was going to spend a minute just slightly dry brushing that. And I just think, personally, I just think it'll look better. There's the, all the timbers, all the detail on the handrail, bridge, everything. I just think slightly just stands out better. Creates a better impression. I'll just bring the, uh, the fighting top over from the main mast that I haven't weathered. I'll put them side by side each other. I don't 
if you can if you can see that. Obviously I'm gonna have to rework this one because obviously I just made this in the instructions and this one's been obviously custom made. So let me know which one you prefer. Well that's a completed fighting top for the full mast. Just same as my main mast fighting top. I've not added the blocks. I'm actually not using the standard kit blocks. I'm uh, just reworking them, improving them. But I haven't got any in a minute. I need to sp sit down and spend a day and probably make about 200 blocks. So I'll see the progress. Keep adding them. And I've also not added the cross trees yet. I'm going to add them to the full mast this time rather than actually the fight top itself. So I'm going to wear them to the full the full mast. Well that's it for this video. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. I hope you uh, think it's an improvement on the fighting top and the main mast. If you like the video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and obviously if you want to see more from my uh, HMS Victory Bill series don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll hopefully get a video out every week and I'll see you all next time.